I once thought Pete Davidson was just like Obama, biracial goofball who ruined a once beloved institution, but it turns out I was wrong. Pete's not biracial. <laughs> Good one. And now for the man of the hour. This guy is a monster, and uh, he should go to jail forever. But if you support the Catholic Church, isn't that like the same thing as being an R. Kelly fan? <laughs> like, no, I don't really see the difference. Only like one's music is significantly better. You might know Ludacris from your mom's That's What I Call Music CD. You know the rules of television. I know you very well. I know. You I work on Saturday Live yeah, every but week. I can get, get, get fired from there. I can get fired from your show. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can happen to you. This was my first and last Tonight Show. <laughs> <laughs> now it's fine. I'll go on Seth. I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. You can go on Seth. I and... actually have Seth's number. I don't have your number. So I'm just saying. Uh, what Kanye said after he went off the air last week was one of the worst, like most awkward things I've ever seen here. And I've seen Chevy Chase speak to an intern. <laughs> I'm like on the left, I'm like, oh God. And then I'm like, I want a career, so I leave. <laughs> yeah, Cuomo, uh, he looks like a guy that's sleeping with your mom, but stays overnight and eats breakfast with you in his boxers. <laughs> and, then, and then he asks you how the baseball's going, and you say, you don't play baseball and he goes oh queer <laughs> snoop's son just got accepted to play division one college football yeah so snoop dogg found out he has a son <laughs> then kanye said that democrats broke up black families with welfare and that's slavery is not real um you know how wrong about politics you have to be for like me to notice <laughs> Jimmy Carr is here. When I first met Jimmy Carr, I thought, wow, Jeff Dunham's puppets are getting amazing. <laughs> Jimmy, you look like a butler in a haunted mansion. All right, so is there anything Kanye can do to win you back? Yeah, uh, there is, and I'll tell you in a way that Kanye understands. I made this, uh, make Kanye 2006 again. <laughs> I'm not insane. I know I shouldn't be making fun of how anyone looks. Uh, I look like I make vape juice in a bathtub. I look like a Dr. Seuss character went to prison. You auditioned for Donald Trump. Everyone in the cast auditioned go, for Donald yeah, Trump. Yeah, let me just, before you show, they made us all audition. Yeah. I, I wasn't at home like, let's go. Yeah. I was so upset that I had to do it. It was just very, it was very By bad. the way, he's upset that he has to be president, so that might yeah. have, <laughs> you could have pulled from that. And oh, I, dork. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right, please. Yeah. It's, we were on very late. Yeah. Um, Justin, you know, I lost my dad on 9-11, and I always regretted growing up without a dad, until I met your dad, Justin. <laughs> now I'm glad mine's dead. Um, I don't like people with uh, robotic legs. I'm not done. Uh, I don't like people with robotic legs that like wear shorts. You know? Because I, you know, I feel like if you put on a pair of pants, nobody would know. You know, I feel like you're wearing shorts so everybody knows. You know, so you could cut the line at Cold Stone and get your ice cream in front of everybody else. Because that's what happened to me tell you this much. I was next in line at Cold Stone, all of a sudden fucking RoboCop walked in, and all of a sudden he was in front of me. And I was like, I don't think this would have happened if you had pants on. Can Joe Budden shut the fuck up, by the way? <laughs> like, stop. Like, who are you? Stop talking. Uh, he, Joe, that's you have one song that was in Mean Girls. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. You fucking old tool bag. What is he gonna do, write a diss about me? That's how much of a loser he is. He's like, yes, I can diss this comedian. You fucking tool bag. I wasn't gonna do jokes about this, but then my buddy told me, he's like, yo, I've recently heard that uh, Ariana said she had no idea who you were and she just dated you as a distraction. 
So now I just think it's like fair game. Uh, so, yeah. Also, don't applause. This isn't like a Drake versus Lil Wayne concert. Like, this isn't like a competition. You know, she has, you know, her songs and stuff, and this is what I have, okay? So, all right, that's, that's it, right? Um, so, and you're like, Pete, this isn't fair. You're like, you're airing out dirty laundry. How could you do that? Where did she say this stuff? To her friends in the confidence of her own home? No, she said it on the cover of Vogue magazine. Can you imagine if I did that? Can you imagine if I did that? My career would be over tomorrow. If I spray painted myself brown and hopped on the cover of Vogue magazine and just started shitting on my ex. Can you imagine the, no, don't clap. That was a Drake vs. Lil Wayne claps. I don't like that. I like the giggles. It's just jokes. But can you imagine if I did that shit? If I was just like, yeah, I just fucking it up because I was bored. And then Fortnite came out. It would be insane. And you're like, well, Pete, something had to happen to her, right? You know, there had to be some repercussions, right? No, she won Billboard's Woman of the Year. And I got called Butthole Eyes by BarstoolSports.com. <laughs> so sometimes life is a little unfair. Again, these are jokes. I don't, I don't want any smoke, okay? From uh, my biggest fear is uh, I'm gonna get a shot in the back of the head by like a nine-year-old with a ponytail. <laughs> and the last thing I'm gonna hear is hashtag canceled, and then just pop right in the back of the head. Again, I don't want no smoke from the, from the nine-year-olds. Um, no, she's a really powerful woman, that, uh, that, that uh, Ariana. She's a, she's a very, very powerful woman, you know? You, and very smart, you know? You gotta be to be able to ruin Starbucks for a person. <laughs> you know? I walked into Starbucks the other day, I was like, hey man, can I have a medium coffee? And the guy was like... <laughs> and I was like, fuck you, I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Why are they getting rid of them in the city? I can't find one. People, a lot of people ask me all the time, uh, you know, like, what, what was that? What, what was it? It's like any other breakup, you know? It's just except everybody sees it. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's uh, like, I, I didn't know what I was getting. I kind of knew what I was getting into, but not really. I didn't know about the picture thing. If I knew about that, I would have seen a dermatologist before I started dating. <laughs> I would have, like, taken proper precaution. But... I didn't really, you know, it's like any other breakup. You have your boys over, they all lie to you, you know? They're like, don't, no problem, bro. Nobody even knows who she is. Uh, oh, it's all good, bro. It's all good, better off, no problem, you know? And then that song came out, and my friends were like, bro, I love you, I love you, right? Shit is catchy. <laughs> Shit is very catchy. You're gonna have a rough eight months. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I actually happen to like the song. I'm sorry. I like you. But, uh, My grandpa said, he goes, it's a slap. <laughs> Peter, Peter, it's a slap. Uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, it's a good song, and I don't, I don't even listen to that shit. And I was like, I get it! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this is the only thing I didn't like that I got out of it, which is a common misconception. Uh, I don't like that she talked all this shit on like behalf of my dick. I thought that was like super weird. She was like, yeah, it didn't work out, but like, nice dick. I thought that was really weird because like everybody was like, oh, that, that's what a nice, what a nice uh, girl. <laughs> First of all, just take a step back. Can you imagine if I said that shit? Can you imagine if I was like, sorry, it didn't work out. Nice pussy, no! That shit wet! Woo! Good pussy, but sorry. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this is the only thing. It just, it, I didn't like it because uh, it's just simply not true. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just not. She has little tiny little hands. She has just very little hands. Everything's fucking huge to her. Yeah, it was a fucking joke the entire time we were down. I was like, you know, huge to you, but small to everyone else. This rocks. You know? So you ask yourself, you're like, why? Then why, if she knows this information, then why would she tell everybody what a great big penis you have, right? Why would she do that, you know? 
because to the outside, you're like, wow, what a nice lady. Didn't work out, gave him a, gave him a nice word, you know? <laughs> Told everybody he has a nice penis, right? That's not why. She did that so that, well, she's a genius, remember this. She's a very smart person, okay? She did that so that every girl that sees my dick for the rest of my life is disappointed. 